my Let's Plays, Fighty's Empire, episode 19. The last time we got our uh, ethanol production going, and I did sort out all my storage issues, which, as I said, was basically derp on my part. So we got about 37 buckets of ethanol. So we're going to go over here. And I ran into the thing when all that stuff was running. I didn't actually run out of power, but all of these were going. So I put speed upgrades in these three, but I'm still running two of these. And both of these are running full. So I think, just to make sure we don't have issues here, those are both full. And we never, I never did, this never got empty, so we were producing enough power to keep this full, but we had no extra power generation. We basically were draining everything, so that's not good. And uh, I have the problem that this is occasionally running out of canola, and I just have to put a stack in, and then it's good for a long time. But I think we're going to do something about that first. So let's go ahead here and teach it a new recipe. I'm going to teach it to make ender eyes. Okay. And then we're going to make ender eyes. Craft five of them. Now it's probably going to have to go over here and make some more blaze powder. But that'll give us enough to start. So what we need then is to make these. So we're going to go ahead and put this one here, and we're going to get one of you, and we're going to whitelist this, and we're going to tell it to run all the time. Now theoretically, I believe that will pull, does that not pull from here automatically? Do I have to also put a... No, I think it's pulling automatically. I couldn't tell. So that's empty. So that goes down. I think it only pulls every three seconds. Okay. So that should keep that up. And then we're going to go and grab a piece of charcoal here whitelist charcoal so we're right now at 60 and we may have to get faster ones of these Yep, there it went. Because it will pull, it checks every six seconds, but when it does check, when it does check, it pulls up to eight. So it should be able to keep those fed even if we don't have enough coming in from there. And then we'll put our extra two here. Assuming our ender eyes are now done.
white list, charcoal. Always on. And whitelist, charcoal, always on. Not that that's actually going to get to do anything. And then we should probably check because I probably got an ender. Yeah, my ender lilies are ready to harvest again. And I'm actually getting extra seeds. I should actually automate to this one point at some point because I've got extra seeds already. So maybe we'll do that at some point in the near future. Okay, so that's step one. Now step two, this is full and staying full. So I think we want to build a second still. So to build a still, Oh, that's right, we need one of you. Which means we might need more bronze. Yes, we need more bronze. Do -do 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 -do. Throw you in there, and you will have to throw back in the other thing. So let's go throw you back in the other thing. Now we can build our still. We'll want another importer. And we're going to want a wireless because I'm going to be lazy. And we'll need a piece of cable. Or two. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is go ahead and put the still right here. So it should immediately fill up with biomass. Then we're going to go ahead and put our importer here. So that should let it import. So we're going to set it for fluid mode. And we don't care about the other. Now we need power, so I'm just going to put a wireless there. Which should power it. And that doubles our production of ethanol. And I believe this should be able to keep up and keep both of those going. Yeah, it looks like it'll keep up and keep both of those going. So. So the next thing we need to do is start working on machines to uh, use that. So for that, I think we'll use advanced generators. So we're going to have to teach it a few recipes. So let's teach it how to make this. Then we're going to need some more patterns. We may run out of iron here. We're probably getting low. So then we... Oh, do I know... Have I taught it pistons? We will have to teach it pistons. I do not think I've taught it pistons. Nope, I have not taught it pistons. So the next thing we need to ta teach it Oh, that's right, we have to do it down here.
Now we have to spell it right. Okay, so now that we've taught it pistons, we need to teach it this. Now let's go ahead and start another crafter being built. Okay. And we're back to advanced. Go ahead and teach it this one. And this one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do since we're going to make a gas turbine is we need to build a gas turbine controller. So we're going to need to build one of those. I don't know. So that should give us, oh, uh, we need to craft those. So we should now be able to make one of these. Hope I need two more of you. So there we have our gas turbine. Now we're going to need a power emitter. Flux generator. So we'll get, need to build one of those, which means we're going to need one of those. That's not what we want. We want a flux generator. Then we're going to need at least one turbine. So, what do we need to build an advanced turbine? Iron frames, advanced alloy, advanced alloy tube. That's made out of advanced alloy. Yeah, we're probably not going to do that. There's iron, malillion, bronze, endrian, steel. Okay. So we're going to need four iron frames. requires eight of these. Okay, then we need a fluid in. Go ahead and make ten of these since I seem to keep needing these. That will feed in our fluid. Now this increases our efficiency. So 
I need one of those. Some of those. So what are we missing? Nothing. Okay, so that create that's the fuel mixture. What else here do we need? Fuel intake we got. We don't worry about fuel output. We don't worry about items. Fuel tank. Want at least one of those. So we want one of these, which require two of these, which require advanced alloy. So I guess we're not getting that quite yet. Well, we could make advanced allies. Oh, we'll add that later. So I think... We can add a basic power capacitor which requires either flux capacitors or advanced RE batteries. So how do you make a flux capacitor? So a basic one still takes those. Wow, those take electrum. And those take invar. I don't know if I have copper or sulfur. No, nope, I don't have sulfur. So for the time being, we won't do that. So let's go ahead and we're going to need an export. We're going to need our bucket. And some cable. Which I already had. Let's go over here. So I know I go somehow to here. How do I get to there? Apparently through here. Yep. So it must come through here somewhere. Okay. I got to put these away from my mining. Let's do that now. Okay. Okay. I want my fuel to go here. And I want my flux generator to go here. And I want my fuel tank and that to go there. And I want you to go there. Oh, I have to have a turbine first. So I want you to go there. Then can you go there? Okay, then in theory, 
we should be able to take our exporter and put it right there. Now it fluid ethanol. And there it's getting its ethanol in. And it's generating 200 RF a tick at 0.19 millibuckets a tick. Okay, now we got to figure out how we're going to get it to the power. And of course, the power is right there, but that's not where we want it to be. Hmm. This gives us an extra 200 a tick capability once I get it figured out how I'm going to get it in there. I guess we could use those wires or actually let's build some new devices. Because I'm going to probably need these ultimately. Power cell. So the basic power cell, advanced, creative, and simple. Simple power cell. So we need one. We need some of those. Let's go ahead and make four of those. of those. And two of those. I'm going to go ahead and put this one down here. And that is not what I wanted it to do, because I have to link it. Oh, I did link it. And then we want to set all sides to in. And then we're going to put this one down here, link it and said it's all to out. And this is probably going through fuel at a reasonable rate, so let's go see how our fuel production is doing versus are outgoing. That one's full. Now it's slowly going down. So this one's probably mostly empty. Yeah, because I think it's going into this one first. So yeah, it's slowly going down, so we're not producing... Oh, there it went back. Maybe we're producing enough fuel to take care of it. But that adds 200 RF a tick, and we can add more turbines to it as we get as we up our production. And probably once this is fully charged, because all these share, each one of these you add, adds like another 250,000 storage capacity. So there it's full. So this probably is filling up. Yep. And of course that's full. 
And these are full. So we should be doing better on power. Yay! So now that we're doing better on power, let's see how we're doing on potatoes. 2K of potatoes, yeah! So next thing I need is the book. The book. This book. Because the next thing we probably want to build we want to get up to a diesel well no next we want to build this I'm pretty sure I want to build this next this one if I put water and lava on various sides will generate electricity for free I need steel, which I have, copper, and constant plates. Ooh, didn't I make some constant by mistake? If it did, I left it out here. Constant. Let's switch this over to processor and say that one constant and run over here to our plate maker. Plate maker. Oh, apparently I reached my max on these, so I need to make some upgrades. I need to get a source of obsidian because the I need like eight obsidian to make a for each of the upgrade thingies here. We should be able to just double click on this and put it all away. Okay, that takes care of that for the moment. And what was I doing? Oh yeah, constants. This one's the plate. Whoops. Apparently you can't make plates with constants that way. Well, that's going to be depressing. So how can I make constants? Well, it says here I can make constant plates. Why are you not working? Let's get farther back. It does work. I was just too close. Okay. So 
So we'll pull a constant plate from there and finish our recipe here. And then how do you make constant? Whoops. I need to erase that episode, that recipe because it was incorrect. There we go. There we are. Copper and nickel make constants. Okay. So Copper, nickel, whoops, over to our alloy smelter and run this one over to our plate maker and we now have sources of constants or constants however you say it okay and at this point, we'll go ahead and call it an episode. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.